All right, so we're going to get the cat out of the bag and then start the internal dissection. So as I said, typically this is a two-person job. So with this, you have to be careful. Now, again, on this preservative, it uh, doesn't need to be kept this time, but you want to keep most of it in the bag that you can uh, because otherwise it's going to be in your way. And with this today, normally, again, we preserve the pelt, but today we're not going to worry about that. So we do need to keep the bag, though, to keep the cat in there uh, for later. So, all right, so let's adjust so you guys can see the camera screen. And there we go. All right. So Kitty is here, so we're going to take the pelt off of Kitty. Okay, and again, this is something we normally would keep till we were completely done with the dissection, but at this point, uh, we are going to be done with this section, so this is just going to go back in the bag that it was in, because the kitty doesn't need to stay warm anymore. All right, so with this, oh boy, let's see if I can get Brianna in here without gunking up <laughs> the iPad. All right, so digestive system respiratory system, circulatory system. Those are what we're gonna to attempt to do today. And again, as you guys are watching this later, there will be students joining us live in Zoom. Hi, Brianna. You might be on mute here. All right, so to do the internal organs, okay, we're going to need scissors, uh, to be able to do that, uh, I always need a blunt probe to be able to move stuff around. But the main tool, once we get the cut started, is going to be your hands. Hands and scissors uh, to get the internal organs up. Once you get the uh, cavities open, you really don't need anything other than your hands. It's all internal. And then once we start removing organs, then you'll just need scissors or scalpel. So, all right. So here we go. We're going to open up the cat's abdomen. And again, those of you on Zoom, if you can't see it, let me know. I'm trying to keep both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the abdominal muscles, okay? And I'm going to make a pinch zone here, okay, to be able to do this. And again, I'm learning. I'm trying to stare at the computer screen while doing this as opposed to doing it as I look down at the cat. So I'm going to lift up the abdominal area, and I'm going to clip that, okay? Now I've got a hole. And this is where I'm going to need plenty of extra paper towels because there's going to be a lot of preservative that was inside the cat, okay? So I've made an incision in the abdominal region, okay? And I'm going to pick up on that and make an incision up the midline of the cat to open up the abdominal cavity, okay? So I'm gonna cut up to the xiphoid process of the chest, okay? Lifting up as I go, okay, to make sure I get that. And I'm gonna go to about right here. This is the xiphoid process, okay? You can feel, again, that's that sharp edge to it. We don't want to cut through that just yet because I want to point out something to you that would have been a pretty cool thing live would have been the diaphragm muscle. Okay, so as we get to there, okay, you start to see some internal organs. Okay, you see this large amount of fat and what's called the mesentery here. Okay, and then that very, very large thing showing there darkly is the liver. Okay, and then as I come up to get my fingers here, okay, I'm feeling around for the edge of the diaphragm and the rib cage. Because once I get there, what I've got to actually do to go forward is I actually have to pull the diaphragm off of the last set of ribs. So what I do with that is I will get my finger in up under the diaphragm muscle and I will simply dislodge it from the ribs. And we'll see if this will come onto the camera screen here. Okay, there we go. All right, under my finger here, okay, right here, this is the diaphragm muscle, okay, that I've currently got my finger between it and the ribs, and it attaches along the side walls here, and I'm going to pop that loose to keep it as one piece. But I also have to be careful in doing so because running through the liver and the diaphragm muscle will be some of your arteries and veins, okay, that will run through this. So I don't want to break those loose, okay. And again, I have a lot of fluid inside the kitty cat. Okay, that I've got to get that out of there here in a few minutes. 
Okay, and then I'm going to dislodge the other side as well. So again, finger goes under, and this would have been one of those things that would have been, uh, you would just pop, 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 pop as it gets loose. So here we go. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay. All right, now what that does, once I've got that pop loose, it allows me to get my hands under, and this is where a second person helps a lot. I need to lift the rib cage to be able to not cut through the heart, okay, because the heart is just under the rib cage. So, and this could sound interesting because I'm going to be cutting through the bones of the cat's chest, okay, and I'm going to cut and look, okay, and then I can start to see the heart there. I'm going to cut and look again, okay, so I can see that I've missed the heart here, which is good, okay, and I'm going to go up into the, right up the sternum, so I'm cutting through the middle of the sternum. Okay, and we can start to see some of that connective tissue we talk about here. Okay, when we talk about pericardium, visicard, or you know, peritoneum, visceral, parietal, all those kind of things. Okay, all those different peris and epis, it's starting to show there. So then that will show there's the cat's heart and lungs. Okay, the liver's down here. Okay, so you can see the diaphragm muscle here. So we're going to cut up into the neck. Okay, cutting up into the neck. Okay, through the muscles, right? and up into the fat and muscle of the neck, and then we're going to carefully pull back on the rib cage, exposing this. I'm going to put a thumb underneath and pop loose the connective tissues, okay? And that'll help me here in a minute, okay? And then we're going to stop the video being recorded here in a second because it's just going to be me putting towels into the cat and getting the fluids to go through and we'll get this opened up and start identifying the internal organs.